So we're going to go ahead and bring in a Charlotte Sports Live's Mike Lissette now. So, Mike, you've been at the Spectrum Center, Spectrum Center today, and you've been working the phones all day. So what are you hearing about this big move? Well, uh, it has been quite a day for the Hornets. Now, in addition to the Jordan news, the team announced their partnership with Lending Tree came to an end. Those are the patches they have on the jerseys. I'm told that had nothing to actually do with the sale. Now, as far as the other order of business, the team is only six days away from the draft, and workouts today continued. Now, since Jordan is staying on with the team through July 1st, I'm told whatever the Hornets are planning to do with their picks will not change. That said, it's an interesting time for the franchise, and prospective rookies today have taken note. Uh, for me, it's just about being ready for anything. It doesn't change what I do. I can still come in and help a team, but uh, that, was, that was crazy to actually just find that out. You, a minute did ago. you just find it out that I just tell you? Uh, something like that, yeah. They that didn't crazy. mention it? Uh, yeah, they did. Actually, okay. that's why I just found out recently, but uh, that's crazy. Now, I did talk to a couple more sources around the NBA, and unlike Dexter Dennis, they were not surprised by the Jordan news. I mean, I had been to about probably half the home game. Charlotte Sports Lab always had a presence there. One time, one time I saw him in public view in his ownership box. He had other interests. I mean, he's got mm -hmm. racing, two, yeah. racing. Yeah. Golf. he's got two yeah. twin daughters that are growing up. He's in Florida all the time. He likes to fish. I mean, let's face it, the guy is... 60 years old. I mean, he's, he's he's moving on to a different phase of his life. His visibility at a Hornets game started getting less and less. Absolutely. Over the mm -hmm. years. I mean, this no year, only about one that. time he started in, in the owner's box, moved down to the court side seats, and he just, he never wanted to be the focus, and, and that's mm -hmm. probably one of the reasons why he stayed away, but that's hard to do. Anytime Michael Jordan walks yeah. in the room, everyone's looking up oh, and yeah. saying that. It's the end of the era. Yeah. Everyone associated him with, with the, the team. Our two new majority owners coming in, what do we know? We do know that they have some basketball background well, in the NBA. I mean, based on the fan reaction, I mean, this, wise, is, this yeah. is a good thing. I mean, everybody, and I'm sure as you'll get to in a second, some of Jordan's tenures uh, during his time were not good. They had the fifth worst win percentage since he took over in 2010 Sometimes a breath of fresh air is needed, and I think people are excited about what is going to come with this team. All right, Mike, thank you. Well, Jordan bought a minority stake in the team back in 2010 for approximately $180 million. He spent another $275 million to become the majority owner a few years later. And as Mike here touched on in his airnesses, 13 years as owner, the Hornets appeared in zero playoff series beyond the first round. Not only that, the Hornets haven't even made the postseason in the last seven seasons with only one winning season. He leaves the majority spot with a record of 423 and 600. Yeah, I get this. Charlotte has not won a playoff series since the 2002 and, uh, and also has never won an NBA championship.